As testing ramps up, county leaders are reporting several more confirmed cases of coronavirus in our county. The reported number of tests increased from just over 4,000 yesterday to more than 4,500 today. Now the goal is to reach 5,200 daily, so we're getting closer. 3% of those tests came back positive for a total of 139 new cases, and there were unfortunately two new deaths reported. Health officials say there was a duplicate death listed yesterday, so the overall death toll in San Diego County currently stands at 209. All right, now on to the statewide numbers. The California Health Department is announcing more than 76,000 cases of coronavirus, along with more than 3,200 deaths. So far, the state is averaging 1,700 cases and 75 deaths every day from the virus. About 40% of those deaths in the state have been at nursing homes. The state has tested more than 1.1 million residents. Protesters took to downtown again today. They're rallying for officials to reopen the state. Hundreds of protesters gathered at the county administration building today, chanting and holding up signs calling for the end of the shutdown. Speakers at the event include former mayor Roger Hedgecock, who says it's time for the county to open more businesses and places of worship. The protesters also want the beach ban overturned, allowing San Diegans to sit on the sand. Well, several spaces are already reopening here in San Diego. The city of San Diego is now allowing access to three reservoirs and lakes, but with some changes and a word of caution. News 8's Teresa Sardina has more from Lake Murray. Lakes and parks are slowly reopening in San Diego County. It's great to um, get out of the house. Try to keep them away from TV. A little sick and tired of fishing the ocean. I'm ecstatic. I couldn't wait for this to open up. This is a great opportunity to get some fresh air, interact at a distance uh, with people. Just seeing them <laughs> is uh, something very heartfelt and warm. As of Friday, Lake Miramar, Murray, and Lower Otai are open during regular business hours for jogging, cycling, fishing, and boating. They should open San Vicente and El Cap Lake because they're twice as big and nobody's going to be within six feet of each other ever. In a statement, per the San Diego County Public Health Order in response to the COVID-19 pandemic, please follow the temporary protocols for enjoying the reservoirs urging the community to maintain social distancing of a minimum of six feet at all times and do not enter areas if you have a cough or fever. Boat rentals are not allowed at this time, only allowing personal watercraft. In the coming weeks, you'll see more recreational reopenings. Teresa Sardina, News 8. Part of the Imperial Beach shoreline is back open after new water quality tests there. The closure was not due to coronavirus, but instead from the ongoing problem of sewage runoff from the Tijuana River. Beaches at the south end of Seacoast Drive up through Carnation Avenue are now back open. County officials say sewage runoff from the river is no longer contaminating the water there. Tonight, lifeguards are asking people to be vigilant in the water as people return to our local beaches. Plenty of rescues today because we've got some dangerous rip currents, especially in La Jolla. You swim near lifeguard, talk to the lifeguard on duty, figure out what the conditions are, and make sure that if you're not sure about whether or not you should go out in an area, don't do it. San Diego lifeguards rescued more than two dozen people today near Black's Beach. They believe that more people may be going into the water because of health orders requiring active use on the beach. You can't just sit on the sand. Well, picture perfect beach weather today, but the big question, is it going to stick around? I know who has the answer, yeah. our own meteorologist Sean Stiles, for a first look at your microclimate forecast. No pressure, Sean. Yeah, putting me in the hot seat right out of the gate here, Steve. Well, today, as you said, a picture-perfect day, 73, 68 is the average, so we're above that, and we'll stay there right on into the mid part of the work week. What's going to be happening is we're going to see these daytime temperatures shave off a couple degrees tomorrow, and then by the time we get into the midweek, we'll see a lot cooler. But 81 out in Ramona and Escondido along the coast, Coastline upper 60s to low 70s, 73 downtown mountains. We are in the upper 60s to low 70s. This area of low pressure, this is your water vapor loop, and you can see the circulation here in this frontal boundary will eventually come into Southern California. Not before we get one more or two more nice days out of it, and then we cool down. So 71, 72, a few more clouds, and then 
We should see temperatures drop off to where we normally would be for this time of year at 68 degrees. There's actually a chance of some drizzle or light rain overnight Monday into Tuesday morning. We'll show you more about that coming up in just a bit. All right, Sean, we'll see you then. Well, there's a saying that the tassel is worth the hassle, and that has never seemed more true than right now. Today, San Diego State held a virtual commencement for its 10,000 graduates, an adjustment made due to the pandemic. News 8's Heather Hope shows us the ceremony and others that have been not so traditional. For the class of 2020, Today we honor your academic achievements. Call it a COVID-19 altered commencement. This online virtual ceremony isn't what graduates of San Diego State University first had in mind. I am certain this isn't how we envisioned our graduation day. But the thing about us, the class of 2020, is that our resilience has been and continues to be stronger than our circumstances. The live streamed occasion where over 31,000 people tuned in lasted just half an hour filled with remarks from Aztec faculty and graduates. Congratulations. Doing a drive-by graduation parade filled with signs and family in their cars, seniors at Cal State San Marcos took it all in. For us to even have the opportunity to parade through our campus one more time, considering that no one's been here for a couple months at this point, is phenomenal for us. The pair of roommates and besties since the sixth grade can now add graduates to the list. We've been friends for the past 10 years, so just to celebrate our friendship and our achievements together is just a great way to go out. It was a bittersweet moment for campus leaders as well. It was so disappointing that we couldn't celebrate commencement, and it's my first year here, so it would have been my first commencement. Big changes for high school graduations, too. In Northern California at Redwood Christian High School, each student got a personal 10-minute graduation in the school gym where their family got to hand them a disinfected diploma. Then at University City High School in Missouri, more than 100 parents held a parade for their graduating kids, honking horns and holding up signs. For the over 10,000 San Diego State graduates, it was time to move their tassels from right to left. One, two, three. <laughs> Congratulations, class of 2020, and go assets. Heather Hope, News 8. Well, tonight, high school graduates across the country got a once in a lifetime speech from former President Barack Obama as they graduated together at home. And as much as I'm sure you love your parents, I'll bet that being stuck at home with them and playing board games or watching Tiger King on TV is not exactly how you envisioned the last few months of your senior year. The graduating together event honored the class of 2020 who have to accept very different ceremonies this year. This was broadcast all over the United States, including here on Channel 8, and featured some very special messages. The class of 2020 won't be defined by what we lost to this virus, but by how we responded to it. The world is yours now, and I can't wait to see... Celebrities and leaders spoke to students from all over the world, encouraging them to take on the challenges of tomorrow despite the unprecedented issues presented by the virus today. And we want to keep those congratulations going for all of our local graduates, both those in high school and in college. In fact, please send us your grad photo and it could show up right here on our broadcast, like Sam there. All you have to do is text the word grad to 858-571-8888. Tori and Austin, their picture's up. We'll send you a link once you send us that phone number, once you send us that text, I should say. Congratulations. We'll still ahead honoring our local military and armed services day. We're shining a spotlight on a nonprofit that helps women veterans find success as civilians. And we recognize that the senior community is among the most vulnerable for coronavirus. And if you're one of those people, we do have a resource for you. Just go to cbs8.com slash senior, or you can text the word senior to 858-571-8888 for a link to our new guide that has the latest updates on meal deliveries, store hours, and much more. Stay with us.